Hey guys, Profe Pablo here, Spanish teacher turned Minecraft engineer. Guys, with the drop of 1.18, I was really excited about the new world generation and horrified when I saw this. That's right, spawn rules for fish have changed, which means that most of my fish farms have broken. I just recently posted a video about this where I built a fish farm that was at Y level 120. It got me tons and tons and tons of fish. And thanks to the new spawn rules where fish only spawn between Y level 50 and Y level 64, that broke. And I need my fish farms for bone meal. So today we are building a Minecraft bedrock fish farm that is based off of Y level 64. It's actually really, really easy to build. I kind of wish I had built this instead of building up to Y level 120. But you basically just stand here, fish spawn, they fall into some troughs down here below, and they will get killed by the magma or pushed off into the hoppers and die there. This farm actually hasn't been going that long and you can see right here that I already have 38 pieces of bone and over a stack of cod and lots of salmon as well. This is a great Minecraft bedrock fish farm and considering bone meal is the basis for so many good farms, you will want to build this fish farm. Enough chit chat, let's get going. All right, so we're gonna come out here to the ocean. This would probably work in a river too. I honestly haven't tested it, but I noticed that the rivers are a little wider now. Swim down and build up to level 60, just like that. Now from here, we're going to build a four x four platform on level 60. This is the collection system for our fish farm. On one edge, we're gonna build a double chest. And then behind that chest, we are going to place down one, two, three, four hoppers. Then we're going to build up blocks around that chest and hoppers. And then put two glass blocks on top of the chest like that. And then place a block in each one of the corners of this platform. Now let's grab our magma blocks, place one here, 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 and here, and do the same thing over here as well. And then we're gonna put temporary blocks above our hoppers like this. Now we are going to build out using magma blocks, seven more blocks. We're doing that on this side, this side, this side and even the side with the glass, just like this. Okay, you should get something that looks like that. Now where these corners are, we are going to build up one block and build out like this. We're making a trough just like that. So we built all the way around our magma blocks, all along the outside of them. And you're going to do that on all sides. Okay, now your build looks like this. Go ahead and make that wall, that outline you just did, two blocks tall. Okay, and now that we're here, we are going to fill in temporary blocks right here, here, and all the way to the middle. I'm using glass because I can see it better. Again, you want to do this all the way around, except on the very, very edges. Like, so these two you can leave because we need that water later. Oh, this is so much easier than my other fish farms. <laughs> okay, I'm just doing this on all sides. There, now we have something that looks like that. Now in the middle, we are going to break these temporary blocks and even the ones that are above the hoppers just like that. And we're going to place a block right here, and we're going to place fences here, 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 and oops, right there, making a square. Break any temporary blocks that you have underneath that. And now we are going to break these temporary blocks that we just built above our magma. And that water should flow to the very end. So we need to do that on all sides. 
The reason we have to use so many temporary blocks is we have to eliminate the source blocks of water. That's the hardest part about building down on this level. Okay, now your build looks like this. Now we're gonna take buttons and place them right above the water, all the way around on these edges. Do that on all sides. Okay, so now we have buttons on all the sides, and now we are going to finish filling in this platform in each one of the quadrants. Okay, after we filled in the four quadrants, we are going to build up a wall on the edge all the way around. Then we're gonna take a bucket of water, place one here and here, and grab from the middle, which is infinite. Place one there, grab from the middle, and do that until water is all along the edge. And we're going to do it over here on this edge as well. And it should fill all the way in the whole platform. Now, our AFK spot, we are going to build up to Y75. And I'm gonna use glass for this so that I can get out to the middle and still see what's going on. And you can see that we already have fish spawning. I'm gonna put them right over here. My spot's gonna be right here. And then you just stand here and wait and you can see the fish are spawning like crazy. They make their way over eventually to the troughs where they die because of the magma blocks and then the remains get pushed into the hoppers. Now, I will say I was concerned because before the fish would pathfind their way to the middle of my old builds and I thought that this wouldn't be as effective, but I really haven't lost a lot of effectivity. It still has amazing rates. Sometimes your fish farm will slow down just for a minute, but then the fish will start reappearing. If you want to, you could definitely mess with the height, but I found that 75 is a good height for this. I've only been going for a little while. Let's jump down and see what we got. So you swim over here, open up your chest, and look, in just a matter of like a minute, we have 11 bones, which is perfect. Now, obviously to get back up to our AFK spot, we will need a ladder scaffolding or vines or something. And then we just stand up here and let the bone meal and the fish come in. After AFKing in this fish farm, you will get tons of bones and tons of fish for food. I hope you guys enjoyed this super easy 1.18 Minecraft Bedrock fish farm. As always, thanks for watching. 